We're Go. in our fourth round of hydrilla treatments for this year. And this is also our fourth year of treating hydrilla in southwest Missouri for some ponds. Other ponds, newer ponds, are on their, on their third year that we've found it in. But each summer we try to keep up on the plant growth by applying small amounts of herbicide at 21 to 28 day, day intervals to make sure no growth achieves full development. We're going to apply a fluoridone product, Pell's product, and we're going to use a backpack blower. Um, it has a special hopper that allows us to put a pellet and version of the herbicide in here. And we'll apply that to the ponds using a small boat, and that is in order to treat hydrilla. And we're applying it at a low enough rate that hydrilla is the main plant targeted for, with this particular application. Um, with hydrilla, we have to do this several times throughout the year to keep on top of its growth and to keep it from getting fully mature and producing tubers in the fall. The pelleted um, fluoridone product is blown out through the blower. It'll sink to the bottom and over time it will dissolve and release the chemical on the bottom layer of the pond that keeps the new hydrilla growth um, from, germ from fully developing. It targets plants that are acceptable to low level of fluoridone which is more of our invasive, such as hydrilla. Most of our native plants require a higher amount. The impact on them is less.